Yesterday, we went to Hardy's funeral. What did I think of? Of my experiments later, I just read or a lecture to the Ninomites about women's writing. At intervals, some emotion broke in, but I doubt the capacity of the human animal for being dignified in ceremony. One catches a bishop's frown and twitch, sees his polished, shiny nose, suspects a rapt, spectacled young priest gazing at the cross he carries of being a humbug, catches Robert Lynn's distracted, haggard eyes and thinks of the mediocrity of squire. Next, here is a coffin, an evergreen one like a stage coffin covered with white satin cloth bearers. Elderly gentlemen, rather red and stiff, holding to the corners. Pigeons flying outside. Insufficient artificial light, procession to poet's corner. Dramatic and sure and certain hope of immortality. Pets, mellow dramatic. After dinner at Clive's, Lytton protested that the great man's novels are the poorest for stuff and can't treat them. Lytton sitting or lying inert, with his eyes shut, exasperated with a moment. Lady straight she, slowly fading. But it may take years. Over all this broods for me some uneasy sense of change and mortality. And our partings are deaths. And then the sense of my own fame. Why should this come over me? And then of its remoteness. And the pressure of writing two articles on Meredith and furbishing up the Hardy. And Leonard sitting at home, reading Max's letter. And a sense of the futility of it all.